there guys, my name is Coaster Child, Donkster Born, Bob Built for Theme Park News and welcome to a Theme Park News Report Day where today we're going to be talking about Futuroscope. Now Futuroscope is a theme park in France, they're set to, up. they're already open pretty much, they're Mission Kepler, um, of course that's now uh, Objective Mars, uh, the code name was Mission Kepler, this was their Intamin spinning roller coaster with dark red sections, it was one of their most impressive and most expensive investments to date but we got some more massive news today because over 300 million euros is set to be spent on a brand new transformation of the theme park with at least three major attractions by 2025 two new hotels and a water park so we're going to be talking about all of the plans we're going to share some information from an article by theme parks eu uh, as well as the official concept art uh, for the transformation to be done by 2025 so before we get started guys make sure you like comment subscribe click the notification bell so you never miss a youtube video Please share with your friends, your family, and on social media. Make sure you also get in the comments down below with your video suggestions, your shout-outs, and also your questions for our subscriber Q&A. Use the hashtag question before or after your question, and they will be for our Q&A when we celebrate 2,000 subscribers, when we hit 2,000 subscribers, of course. And also, guys, if you want to see me say at the beginning of videos in the future, use the code CHAL for 20% off of merchandise, then please get subscribing because if we hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of 365 days, so around about a year, then we, I will release Coaster Chow merchandise and I'll give you a code for 20% off. And for now, guys, let's get into this theme park news update and let's talk about the transformation of Futuroscope. So according to Theme Parks EU, Futuroscope in France have announced plans for a 304, specifically, million euro transformation with three major attractions, new attractions by 2025, followed by two themed hotels and an indoor water park. VN Department Council has selected the ambitious project submitted by the teams of the Societe Anome du Parc de Futuroscope, which is the SAPF, a company in which Compañeros Alpes has a controlling interest and which currently operates the Futuroscope theme park for the implementation of a new 30-year lease. A transformation project for the current Futuroscope theme park and its extension will be carried out within the framework of this new lease. The aim of the project is to strengthen the appeal of Futuroscope as an exceptional short-stay destination in France and in Europe. The lease should be signed by the end of September and will go into effect in January 2021. In late 2019, VN Department Council launched a bidding process for the operation of its current Futuroscope theme park and for the creation and operation of a new area adjacent to it. The ambitious project has two major components. The offering of the current Futuroscope theme park will be reinforced and diversified through an investment plan totaling 200 million euros over the next 10 years carried out by the SAPF. In particular, this plan calls for not only the introduction of three major attractions between now and 2025, but also the renovation of outdoor facilities, green spaces, an array of original and diverse restaurant options. Next to the current part, the so-called Futuroscope 2 project integrates two themed hotels and Aquascope, an indoor water park, completing the experience offered by Futuroscope to its guests. Investments totaling 104 million euros, which of course add that to the 200 million for phase one, will complete the 304 million euro price tag for the whole transformation. And it will be carried out by the company Future Resorts, jointly held by SEM Patrimonial de la Vienne and Banque des Teotres. Or Teotres, I'm not sure how it's pronounced. SAPF will ensure the delegated project management for this new area and latter for its operation under the terms of a new lease also for 30 years which will take it to 2050. So that my friends is the latest from Futuroscope. Now I said in previous videos on this theme park and on the Objective Mars project I think this is a part we're going to watch for the future. I might as well have my magical crystal ball under my camcorder again. I've got it right again. Futuroscope is going to be a part to watch. Now, the most exciting thing for me is at least, or, or not just, the renovation of different spaces, but the introduction of at least three major attractions between now and 2025. And the fact they've just opened their massive Intamin spinner, indoor and outdoor, 
called Objective Mars, the fact that that's recently opened, and now we're going to see three more major attractions at least by between now and 2025. It's like COVID doesn't even affect Futuroscope. Um, obviously, with co with the company Ades Alpes, they've had to push some plans back and you know cancel some plans, you know, because of this COVID thing. And they've had to cut back on investments, so that's why you know Park Asterix's brand new Intermid Multi Launch Coaster that's been pushed back to 2023. Um, I know some other things have been pushed back as well. Things like the, the 2021 projects are still going ahead. So things like the Wolby Belgium um, Mega Coaster still going ahead. The Extreme Spinning Coaster from Matt Rides at Plops Land Japan that's still going ahead uh, on the Rival Studio 100 theme park chain. Uh, so there's a lot of projects in Europe still going ahead for 2021. And things like the Wolby Belgium Coaster owned by Company Des Alpes compared to Plops Land Japan that's no different. You know, Plops Land Japan still going to have that competition um, from Wolby Belgium. So, I think it's going to be interesting to see what's going to happen with them, but of course, this project, this overall project between now and 2025, is no exception. Uh, this doesn't look like it's going to get pushed back. I think the, the lease is going to be signed by the end of September, so the end of a couple of months' time. And uh, we're going to get the lease, the new lease, the new 30-year lease for the property starting uh, next January in 2021. And, you know, between now and 2025, we're going to get at least three new rides, major rides as well. So... From the uh, the re-envisioned plans, I can't really see any coaster-related stuff. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments down below if you've got better eyesight than I have. But uh, I don't think any of these three major attractions are going to be roller coasters. I think we're going to have maybe a couple of dart rides and then like an overall experience. So it could be a live action experience and two dart rides or motion simulator type attractions. So I think that's what we're looking at here. But... It's not just the new rides between now and 2025 that's most exciting. I think it is also the two new hotels invigorated with a brand new indoor water park called Aquascope. I like that they're doing a water park at the park finally. Uh, I've wanted a water park at the park for a couple of years now and it's been it's nice to finally get that and it's nice to see Futuroscope moving into that theme park market. It started with Objective Mars in my opinion uh, and other dark rides a few years prior. And now we're going to get these two hotels, this new water park, and at least three new major attractions between now and 2025. So, obviously, if the major attractions are major dart rides or coasters or anything like that, obviously they're going to get their own separate playlist. But, of course, this video will be the start of those players because they were all involved in the transformation that's been announced. So... This is like, this is the great thing. You know what? I want to say this right now while I've got the time. This is the great thing about doing this channel. When one project ends, we cover the next one. So, you know, some projects like Orion at Kings Island, that's ended that, now that that's open. Candemonium at Hershey Park, that wasn't a big one, but that's now open. Uh, so there's a lot of projects now open or we know it's been delayed, so we'll keep quiet on construction until it goes ahead again. But as projects end new ones begin and this is a new one so i really can't wait to keep you guys in the loop with everything's going on between now and 2025 with these three major attractions and the rest of the uh, futuroscope expansion so hopefully we'll give you um a separate playlist for the three major attractions hopefully a separate playlist for the aqua aquascope water park as well because we do cover water parks as well um, and obviously you saw with the, the Judge Dread live experience video from London, we, um, we cover other attractions as well. So this channel's really broadened its horizons to multiple attractions. And, you know, we've done a vlog from the old Doncaster Museum before, so maybe we'll start covering some more museum news as well. Um, but the sky's the limit for this channel. Absolutely, the sky's the limit. And, um... You know, I'm really excited for the future. So it's projects like these that get me really excited to cover stuff on the channel. So, um, so there we go. So that is this news update from Futuroscope. Like I said, really excited for this, and I cannot wait to share it all with you. Thank you very much, guys. My name is Coaster Child, Doncaster Born, but built for theme park news. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and for now, guys, keep living the coast life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.